Today we're going to talk about melanoma. It's a serious form of skin cancer that begins in cells known as melanocytes. While it's less common than basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma, it's more dangerous because of its ability to spread to other organs more rapidly if it's not treated at an early stage. The exact cause of all melanomas is not clear, but exposure to UV radiation from sunlight or tanning lamps and baths increases your risk of developing melanoma. Malignant melanoma is an aggressive neoplasm of melanocytes that is most commonly seen in Caucasian individuals with a significant history of sun exposure. It might be difficult to distinguish melanoma from other pigmented skin lesions. For that, we have mnemonic that will help us to remember features that are particularly concerning for melanoma. And it is A, B, C, D, E. A for asymmetry, B for border irregularities or indistinct border, C for color variation or multiple colors, D for diameter more than 6 mm, E for evolution of the lesion, which is the most concerning feature when present. Right now, we're going to talk about the types of melanoma. First, I'll tell you uh, the type, and after that, we will see the picture for five seconds. Let's start with superficial spreading melanoma. They are more common in people with pale skin and freckles, and much less common in people with darker skin. It's the most common type of melanoma, and 60 to 70 out of every 100 people with melanoma have this type of melanoma. The second type that we're going to talk is nodular melanoma. These are faster developing type of melanoma that can quickly grow downwards into deeper layers of skin if not removed. They usually appear as changing lump on the skin that might be black to red in color. Bleeding or oozing is a common symptom. It's the second most common type of melanoma. Between 15 to 30 percent of all melanomas are this type. The third type that we're going to talk is lentigo maligna melanoma. These most commonly affect older people particularly those who have spent a lot of time outdoors. They look like a freckle, but they're usually larger, darker, and stand out more than a normal freckle. Acral lentiginous melanoma. This is a rare type of melanoma that usually grow on the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. These are the most common type of melanoma in people with dark skin, but they can happen in people with any skin color. 5 to 10 out of every 100 people diagnosed with melanoma have this type. Lastly, we will talk about amelanotic melanoma. Our melanotic means without melanin. Melanin is a dark colored pigment, so unlike other melanomas, our melanotic melanomas are usually red or skin colored rather than dark color. Around 8 out of every 100 melanomas are this type. The diagnosis of suspected melanoma is with excisional biopsy and evaluation of tissue histology. Prognosis is dependent on the staging of the tumor, which is determined by the thickness of the lesion, presence of nodal invasion, and metastatic disease. Lastly, for treatment, surgery to remove this tumor is the primary treatment of all stages of melanoma. 
A white local excision is used to remove the melanoma and some of the normal tissue around it. Skin grafting, which is taking skin from another part of the body to replace the skin that is removed, may be done to cover the wound caused by surgery. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our Blue Man Syndrome video and see you later. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, of course.